Remember when YouTube used to have the uh, like reply feature? You could make a reply video to another person's video. This is kind of going to be that. It's completely unscripted. So if you're one of the people that think I have a tendency to be a bit meandering or slow to get to the point, you're going to hate this one. So this is in response to JP Reed's video. The problem with analog horror that everyone is afraid to talk about. And before you start expecting any juicy drama or anything, uh, I just want to make sure to clarify here that, that uh, I like JP. I've talked to him before. He, he, uh, he interviewed me for ARG Digest. I follow him on Twitter and uh, seems like a cool guy. We've, we've, we've talked on, on Discord a few times and I think he's doing important work for the ARG scene and everything. And also, I don't think what he's saying in his video is necessarily wrong. So this isn't me going, nah, you idiot. Uh, but this is me kind of, I guess, attempting to offer an alternative way of thinking about it. So I'm not going to be able to completely recap what he said in a good way. His video is uh, 12 minutes and it's on his channel, JP Reads. Uh, so I recommend, you know, go check that out if you want the full context. But uh, the way I take it at least is that it all boils down to that there are two problems. And these two problems go hand in hand and they link together like a snake eating its own tail. Uh, those being that we have the big YouTube channels that talk about ARGs, Nightmind, Inside a Mind, probably Nexpo, all of these. Uh, and they obviously can't make videos on everything, or want to for that matter. And in today's climate, uh, that's the most reliable way to get your project picked up and covered by, say, for example, Nightmind. A lot of creators tend to instead of creating what they want, telling the story that they want to tell, uh, they tell the story that they think Nightmind wants them to tell, if that makes sense. So that's one of the problems, the straying away from creative intention and instead trying to create something that you think some specific person or uh, quote-unquote elite group wants to see. The other problem he brings up, and, and, and this one is the one that I'm going to be talking about mostly here, is the toxicity in the ARG uh, community, uh, in the Discord groups, in the Twitter sphere, uh, that people are uh, essentially being really shitty towards each other. And the thesis that JP presents is that the reason there is so much uh, toxicity is because Everyone wants to get their project in front of one of the big 12, uh, which is, you know, like, there's around 12 big channels that, that cover ARGs and similar. Please note that I watched his video yesterday, so I'm paraphrasing a bit, but hopefully, you know, I'm getting the gist of it right here. And if you want to get your project in front of them, what's the best way to do that when there are so many projects and so few channels that cover them? It's to eliminate your competitors i.e. if you can get some other creator uh, kind of semi-cancelled on Twitter, uh, then that project is less likely to get... My phone is calling because it's, it's my birthday. I'll get, I'll, I'll get back to whoever that is later. If you can semi-cancel someone on Twitter, their project is less likely to be covered by one of these big YouTubers, which in turn means that your project might be more likely to get covered by one of these YouTubers. And I think that's probably true. There's probably something to that. And what happens then is that you do that, which means you kind of make an enemy, and then someone goes in to, to, to defend that person that you're trying to cancel, and then that person has friends and that becomes a little click and then you tweet something and they try to cancel you and now there's these two camps that that are fighting with each other instead of you know supporting each other for being in the same field and it becomes this vicious circle of cannibalism and uh, toxicity and where i think the problem comes in for me with with with, with this narrative and i guess even more so with the conclusion is that i have to ask what power do uh, these people hold? JP refers a lot to this 
click, I guess, this ARG inner circle of cool kids that decide this and this person isn't welcome and all of that. But I wonder why does this matter? Here's a little anecdote about almost two years ago now, I think, I got a DM from someone on Discord. This was someone who had been following 10 tapes and who was doing their own projects who wrote me just to say like, hey, thanks for making 10 tapes. That was a cool experience. You really inspired me. But due to the toxic culture of the ARG community, I feel like I don't want to be part of this anymore. So I'm going to leave it. I'm abandoning my project. I'm, I'm, I'm out of this field. I'm leaving it. I'm gone. Thank you for everything. Bye bye, essentially. And that sucks. Of course, that sucks. That's terrible. That's awful. What I replied to that person was something along the lines of hello thanks for reaching out that sounds really tough i'm sorry that that you know people have been shitty to you online but you're making it sound as if i should kind of know who it is that you're talking about and when you say arg community i can't help but wonder who you're talking about because i have uh, been covered on nightmind and i absolutely don't mean this is like some fucking weird humble brag i have been covered on nightmind i have you know interacted like i talk pretty f frequently with, with other cr creators inside of mind nightmind alex bale you know and also other you know smaller uh, arg creators not just the, the guys that cover them or the guys with with uh, a lot of subscribers and i've had nothing but a good time talking to, to all of the people that I've interacted with over the last few years. And whatever this ARG community is uh, that you're talking about, I, I have never heard of it, nor have I been invited to it, or ever been a part of it. And from the sounds of it, that uh, that's good, that's nice. I'm glad, I'm happy about that. So why do they matter? One of the points that JP Reads brings up is stop caring about what Nightmind wants to see. Stop caring about what Nexpo, Inside a Mind, all of these people. Stop caring about what they want to see and start doing what you want to do instead. But that same logic has to not only go for the good guys, that has to go for the bad guys as well. Why the fuck does it matter that there are some people apparently in like a discord server or in a Twitter click uh, That are being shitty if someone's shitty about you or your project block them move on Don't talk about them and I don't mean to sound like that one tweet That's like how is cyberbullying real just close your eyes <laughs> just log out I just genuinely mean it doesn't matter because these people don't hold any power I have to imagine that most of the big analog horror projects and their creators and big ARGs and their creators, they don't know about this little community. And the thing about creating these sorts of projects is that it is hard to build an audience. So in theory, it is great to have some sort of community, some place where you can post your thing and people who are interested can dive into it and take part of it and you can build an audience. And I don't know anything about this Discord server. Maybe it's maybe it's super popular. Maybe it works. But I have to imagine that it doesn't work that well to do just that. To build an audience. Because if it did, that's where every single project would always start. If there was a place to reliably put your ARG or Unfiction project and then immediately build like a big sizable chunk of audience, that's where it would go. But that's not what's happening. So simply put they don't have any power they do not matter i don't even know who they are and i would argue that the vast majority of people on youtube who has ever typed in arg into the search bar or unfiction or analog horror into the search bar they don't know either about who these people are and they don't care they just want to see something that is good that doesn't mean that if you make something good it'll automatically blow up and get big. Unfortunately, that's not the truth and that sucks and that's a whole discussion in and of itself. But it feels like a brain fart to me to kind of ascribe these people a power that they don't have because all it's doing is kind of putting you into this echo chamber. You get really bothered because you see tweets and of course you want to go in and defend someone on Twitter because a friend of yours is like getting attacked but the 
I guess harsh reality is you're on the internet and, and people are gonna be fucking dicks. There's always gonna be fucking dicks everywhere. Fuck them. I don't know who they are. I'm not talking about the specific people that JP is talking about. I'm talking about whatever they represent uh, because they can be, you know, anything for anyone. Uh, fuck them. It doesn't matter. You don't need their Discord server or their Twitter support. And you don't need their quote-unquote community. Because what is a community? Or at least what's the point of a community? In my eyes, at least, the point of a community around uh, like a creative topic is to have several like-minded people working together to lift each other up, help each other out, grow together, support each other, and together take part in this hobby or, or passion that you share. So if what these people are doing is not that, if what they are doing is uh, gatekeeping or being toxic or shitty, and they also don't even really have the power to make something popular if they wanted to, then they are not the ARG community. They aren't. And even furthermore, even if they were, you still wouldn't need them. Because while a community can be nice, it's not essential. And I'm not saying, you can just be on your own, do it on your own. I know that sucks. Of course you want to talk to other creators. But that's the thing, you still can. I, I haven't talked to almost a single creator who is a part of these, like, spheres. These uh, Twitter clicks, these Discord servers, and that put any value into them. And if someone watching this is running one of those, and it's a genuinely, you know, positive thing, don't feel like I'm saying you don't matter and you're pointless. It's cool that you're doing that if you're doing it in a, in a good and, and, and cool way, but I don't think it'd necessarily be that crazy if I were to say that you're obviously not, like, necessary for someone to blow up. Because most, if not all, of the big uh, projects that have blown up did it without that, without you, without uh, a Twitter click or Discord server. And that's, I guess, the whole point that, that I wanted to make. I hear where JP Reads is coming from, and I understand that for a lot of smaller creators, there's a certain allure uh, to, to finding like a Discord server of like-minded people and joining it, especially if you've got your own creative project that you're hoping is going to take off. And then it's going to, of course, really suck if people are dicks to you. If people suck, and if people are mean, or if people gatekeep you, bully you, and, and, and for anyone who's experienced that, like, I'm, you know, genuinely sorry that that happened to you. And I'm not trying to invalidate that that sucks, and that, that you can walk away from that thinking that the ARG community, the ARG sphere is, is, is bad and toxic. But what I am trying to do is offer an alternative way of looking at it, which is you went online and you encountered some dicks. Do they represent ARG community? No, they probably think they do. They probably want to, but they don't. Are they gonna be a vital puzzle piece for your project to gain an audience? No, they're most likely not gonna be. Cause if they were, everyone would just go to their server, post their thing, and if it's decent enough, it'd always blow up. And I don't think that's the case. It's kind of like those YouTube channels that has 10,000 subscribers that post videos that says how to gain 100,000 subscribers overnight. Like 10,000 subscribers is nothing to just wave off. That's a huge accomplishment. I don't have that many subscribers. But if those are your numbers, it's hard to believe that you know how to get 100k overnight. And in the same way, if this Discord server or Twitter sphere or whatever it is held the sort of power where they could make ARG projects, unfiction projects, analog horror projects super popular, why would they be uh, running a little toxic community instead of having their own project be huge and out there and consumed and then making like a living off of that uh, or at least spending their time doing that? Uh, and the answer is because they don't, because they don't have that power and, and, and instead, you know, they're doing whatever they're doing. They're dicks, probably. I don't know. I don't know who they are. And that's it. JP, if you're watching this, I hope you don't feel like I am <laughs> telling you that you're wrong 
or uh, that 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 you're an idiot or <laughs> anything along those lines. Uh, I think you're great, dude. Uh, and uh, you know, keep at it. But the way that you talk about them holding power over your head sounds to me as if you are the one giving them the power to do that. No one should be harassed online, obviously. And if they are going to insane lengths, that sucks. But they are not the ARG community. If I do say so myself, I am the ARG community and you are JP Reads. And Alex Bale is and Nightmind is, and Eve Ghost is. There's a lot of us, but a few people are always gonna suck, no matter where you are or what you do. And you're right in that they shouldn't hold any power over you because they didn't have any in the first place. That's it. Thank you so much for wa watching. Today uh, is my 30th birthday, and I'm uh, sitting here while my girlfriend is at the store ignoring phone calls from my dad to talk about this super niche little internet thing. So what authority do I have on this? The answer is none. <laughs> so, so, so you take my words uh, with how little or how much credence, is that the word? Yeah, that you want. You, you can ignore me, yeah, or you can, you know, do what you want with it. Thanks everyone for, for uh, watching this far, listening to me ramble. Now I'm gonna celebrate Christmas, call my dad back, and uh, celebrate my birthday a little bit. See ya.